This video is brought to you by FIFACoinsBuy.com. Use the code BUCKS to get 10% off your ultimate team coins. And G2A.com for the best cheap games. Hey guys, how's it going? Masterbox here and welcome to another Karimo video. This one is not a 2025 player Karimo, but whatever you want to call it. This is a huge career mode video because maybe it's something that you might want to exploit in the future if you're planning on doing a career mode. Guys, I like to do career mode obviously for you guys, the leads career mode, to do it for fun and to post it on YouTube. And then I do it recreationally. And I've come across one of the most ridiculous and insane glitches I've ever seen. I seriously have a knack for this shit. I mean, I found out about the inquiry glitch, inquiring for young players at big clubs, get them super cheap and stuff. That's how I basically built my awesome leads team. But this is like next level. I I've never seen anything like this. Okay, so first off, let me explain before I really get into the nitty gritty. Basically, this is a trade glitch. What? I have no idea what's happened and I have no idea how long you could have done this for. I can see that there have probably been people that have found out about this before me. That's fine. I'm not saying I'm the first, but I'm definitely making sure everyone knows about it because if you want to do this, then oh my God, you will not have long. This is going to get patched so soon, I can guarantee. But anyway, this is a trade glitch that works like this. I'm currently playing with Manchester City, and by the way, the glitch works for any team and for any player. Let's say I want to trade, let's say, Sami Nasri for a certain, uh, for, you know, really anyone. I've currently got my scouts looking for world-class players, so really, really good players, 80 or higher, those sort of guys, players that we would be able to trade uh, Sami Nasri for. I'm just going to skip ahead a couple of days to let my scouts do their thing, and after a while, we're going to have a bunch of players that we can trade for. What you do is, you throw down a shitload of offers on every single player, on just a bunch of players that you want, and just, like, a just spam them. Any player that you think you like, then you can get them. Just give them an offer. All you got to do is send out a bunch of offers to a bunch of players, bunch of trade offers to a bunch of clubs, and wait until you get an unacceptable or a transfer offer accepted for either of the players. And once you have like five, six, seven, God knows how many contract offer accepts for trade offers for one specific player, you can trade that one player for over so many players, an unlimited amount of players. You can see me right here. I'm just going through and I'm just finding a bunch of players that I might look at getting. We've got Marco Verratti. We've got Lucas. I'm just offering Sammy Nasri to literally everybody. I'm going to offer Sammy Nasri in a bunch of trade deals in like to like 20 or 30 different players. And if I'm lucky, I might get about 10 or 15. Here, let's go through a couple. We've got Roberto Firmino, who's accepted. We've got one from Arsenal, Jack Wilshere, who's accepted. We've got Claudio Marquisio, who's accepted. And we've also got Arturo Vidal, who's accepted. Let's just simulate one more day because surely we've got a few more offers. There we go. And they're all unacceptable bar one. And that one is for Marco Verratti. So we have five plays in total that we could trade Sammy Nasri for. So... I'm going to go ahead and give contracts to all of those five players. Just giving Wilshere an offer here, and I'll come back to you when I'm finished. Okay, here we go. The first two have accepted contract offer for Roberto Firmino and Claudio Marquisio. The next day, what do we get? A few more. We have an accept, an accept, an accept. Five more. So, ladies and gentlemen, we have five players in total who we could trade Sammy Nazari for. It could either be Jack Wilshere, Arturo Vidal, Marco Verratti, Roberto Firmino, or Claudio Marquisio. But what this glitch has allowed us to do, again, I have no idea how long we've been able to do this for. Only found it out now. I swear I've not seen anyone else do it. We're just going to accept for Jack Wilshere. I know Jack Wilshere for Nazari maybe isn't that great a trade, but maybe Marco Verratti for Sammy Nazari is a good trade. You never know. Let's keep going. Arturo Vidal for Sammy Nazari. That's not a bad trade just for the one swap, but hell, we're getting every single one of these players. We're getting Claudio Marquisio for Sammy Nazari. We're getting Roberto Firmino for Sammy Nazari. And finally, with all these players, we have a new signing, we have a new signing, a new signing, a new signing, and a new signing. We just got five players for one trade. Look at this. Look at the reserves. Staggering. Wilshire, Roberto Firmino, Verratti, Marquisio, and Vidal. They're all there. This isn't fake. This isn't staged. This is a real glitch that you can do in career mode right now. I don't know if it's something that you would want to do, but it's something that you can do if you really want. And this will give you some insane possibilities and some and just some insane stuff that you can do in career mode now. God, Vidal's a beast. I mean, look at that. And we just traded him for one player and we got four others as well. It's just ridiculous. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. That's insane. I mean, and you can do this with any team and any player that you can trade another player for. I mean, obviously, you may not be able to trade a 70 rates of goalkeeper for Neuer or anything like that. You may have to, obviously, keep in mind who you're trading and who that person you'd want to trade with. I mean, you'd want to trade someone of the same overall. But you could get Joe Hart, for example, and take Joe Hart and trade him for like 
five different goalkeepers that are around 83 rated and his age. It's just insane. I don't know how long that this glitch is going to be around, especially since now I've made a video on it. It's probably going to spread a little bit, but uh, hey, enjoy it. If you're going to make a career mode and make the most of this, then I suggest you do it soon because this is more than likely going to get fi uh, fixed or patched very soon. Thank you so much for watching this one though, guys. Uh, more content coming out soon. Don't forget to like, subscribe. I really appreciate it. And yeah, until the next massive awesome career mode glitch, thank you so much for watching this one and have a good one. Bye-bye.